gods set is one tall mountain, and we're supposed to climb it? He's speaking the old Yokhui tongue. The words are difficult to catch. Though your words are crude and cumbersome, I use them for your benefit. You are a claimant in this right of succession. That's right. Then, if you die, Tuliola loses a potential ruler. That's a dark thing to say, friend. I get the feeling you don't share the opinions of the other Yokhui we've met. Before Galul Jaja, like those shameless lapdogs. My brethren and I are conquerors, and we will restore our people to their rightful place as Turas overlords. The Giants have their own factions too, it seems. You think your kin weak for showing deference to my father, but they do not follow the man. It is his peace they respect, a peace they always wanted, which they realized could be had right here. <sighs> Justifications of the Craven. They turn a case from our ancestors, from the dream we kept alive for a thousand years and more. They are unworthy of bearing our legacy. I will reclaim the glory of our people. And our ascension begins with the death of the third promise. Stop! I don't want to fight you! Then die on your knees.
<laughs> Why do you help us? I didn't put much thought into it. My legs were moving before I knew what was happening. I suppose I feared you'd die before we had the chance to get to know each other. Before I could learn more about you. To what end? Oh, that's simple. If we're to share the land, it's the best way for us to become friends. How is he? He'll live. Not quite ready to walk under his own strength, however. If you could stay and tend to him, the rest of us will continue on to walk or Zormor. Understood. Be careful up there. This changes nothing. We will not forsake our conquest. As you like. You want to kill me, you're welcome to try. But right now, you might want to worry about your comrade. On a mountain of that size, there are bound to be creatures even I've never heard of. I'll trust you to lead the way. Then we climb. Gufurlor is waiting. Elector of the Dawn Servant, prepare to be tested. Self Gur Fulur, High Luminary to my people, and chosen Elector of the Dawn Servant. You are much bigger than the others in the village. All your Kui were once my equal in size, but ever since we were decimated by disease. It is rare to see a child reach our former stature. You speak of the contagion which afflicted the Shak Tural expedition. The one recorded in your murals. It is a chapter of our history that is entangled with the legend of the Golden City. 
I've heard that legend originated with the Yok Hui. Is this true? With the visions our ancestors had, to be precise. Preceding the campaign into Shak Tural, many were visited by dreams of glittering splendor. They described a paradise that knew neither war nor famine, where people lived lives of eternal happiness. A single dreamer might have been dismissed, but when dozens, if not hundreds, spoke the same, the luminaries became convinced it was divine revelation. Then the expedition. Its purpose was to find the city of gold. Yes, help was marshaled from all the territories under our control. Lands were scoured on a massive scale. Ah, little wonder the legend is so similar across Tural. Those involved with the search would have passed the stories down to their children. Another claimant, I see. I will test your worth, as I have tested those who came before you. Here and now, I think he means. Three to go. How glorious it would have been to race thee and thine to the summit. Though mayhap not whilst being hounded by Bakul Jaja and his minions. Again, that swine shows his disdain for the right. Strangely... Despite his eagerness to antagonize us, he withdrew as soon as we fought back in earnest. I cannot fathom what he was trying to achieve. On a similar note, I'm also curious as to why you chose the peak of Warcor Zormor for the conclusion of this feat. The earlier stages saw us learn the history of the Yokui. Does this location also hold some special meaning for your people? Yes. It is a place of great significance. All these monuments. Is this a burial ground? Every high luminary before me is enshrined in this earth. Alongside them are the heroes who bravely stood their ground when Vali Armanda brought ruin to Urko Pacha eight decades past. Hmm, that explains why there are so many. 
Zorolja, I should have known you'd arrive here first. <sighs> ah! Third promise. How relieved I am to find you in good health. Sarelcha, you bastard! I should end you here and now! Remember where you are. You will mind your conduct, or you will leave. Right. <clears throat> Sorry. I see no reason to delay further. Show me my father's sepulchre. Papa has a grave? Upon this monument are inscribed the names of those who sealed away the monstrous Valley Garbanda. Your fathers included. Gulul Jaja, master of resolve and reason, champion of peace. Look at this one. Ketanram, navigator of uncharted oceans. Ketanram, the Lamintan explorer. Does this mean he joined Gulul Jaja on his travels? Kafkiwa. Seeker of the Unknown. How strange to see your name here. It was unheard of to build grieving sepulchers for those who were not Yokui. But their great deed demanded recognition. Master of resolve and reason? Champion of peace? Papa really did some amazing things. He carved his path with martial skill. Yet it was clever thinking which allowed him to trap Valigarmanda within its own ice magics. Martial skill and clever thinking. Hmm. I can't compete with Zorolja's mastery of the Head of Resolve's techniques. And when it comes to knowledge, Kona's the one who most takes after the Head of Reason. Is there anything that I've gotten from Papa? Something I do better than the others? Of course. Papa's love for peace, for his people. That is what he's given me. And I'm fighting to preserve the peaceful Tural he built. was that you must return to Warlar's echo immediately Valley Garmanda has broken free I presume that was about the unholy sound Valley Garmanda is free we need to get back there, now! Oh, 
Huh. How fortuitous. We have been gifted an opportunity to outpace our rivals. So it's true. The ice has failed. Sure, Murwar. Tell them what you told me. A short while ago, a claimant paid us a visit. As they say, Kululjaja caused its magic to run rampant, trapping it in a frozen prison of its own creation. Clever. Clever. To unmake it, it would be quite tricky. Two spells must be cast at the exact same moment. A conflagration intense enough to melt the ice and awakening flame to rekindle the slumbering Vitral's soul. The only ones capable of such harmonious execution would be the heads of reason and resolve. And the blessed siblings, Bakul Jaja.
A messenger to Tuli Yolor has been dispatched. The Landsguard will send a contingent, I am sure. But there is no telling when they will arrive. That idiot! This monstrous act is a step too far, even for him! So, what's the plan? If we leave the withdrawal to others, it will be a massacre. Some might call it the wiser choice, if I don't want to fall behind the competition. But I could never live with myself. And my supporters deserve a better ruler. So that's that. I will stay and fight Vali Yarmanda. This is an enemy so powerful that even my father failed to slay it. Alone, I don't stand a chance. I understand you've no obligation to aid me outside the right of succession. But for the sake of Urko Pacha and its people, I beg you, join me in this battle. Far be it from us to abandon a dear comrade in her time of need. Dear comrades now, eh? <laughs> I have to say, it does have a comforting ring to it. Knowing someone has your back makes it easier to do what you have to do. And what will we do? <laughs> One committed to winning the contest above all else would race on ahead. If you resolve to slay Vali Karmanta, we'll need to find out where the beast went. That's what we have you for, old friend. The trail ends here, it seems. Could Valikarmanta have shifted its elemental aspect? It does have three to choose from, after all. In any case, I'm almost certain the Vidral was headed in the direction of Warcor Lardor. We should let the others know we have a likely location. Alphano is assisting the Yokhoi with their evacuation. He thought they could use a healing hand with the injured. So where is Valiarmanda? Warkor Lardor. Its stratified layers contain a wealth of crystals, said to be the source of its many-colored glow. 
After 80 years of imprisonment, the withdrawal will be in dire need of sustenance. It would have been drawn to the mountain's energies. So Valley Garmanda seeks to replenish its ether. Then we'd better not give it the chance. Stop! We... It is not our intention to trespass. But you must understand, that's where Valle Yarmanda has gone. If we don't slay it now, it will slaughter countless innocents. Just like in the old days, I beg you, permit us to enter. Out of the question. Your band is incapable of defeating Valikarmanda. Either you seek to defile Warcor Larador, or you are fools. If you doubt their chances, how would you feel were we to join them? The monument to Valigarmanda's defeat bears the names of seven heroes. With our forces combined, we also number seven. Seven weaklings are no less doomed than four. Zorocha, you've come to help as well. Against my sound advice. While the rest of you were tussling with this sky ruin, we might have secured an insurmountable lead. A minor delay. It will not change the contest's outcome. I would take the measure of his Tural withdrawal my father was unable to kill. Both my brothers here. This battle is all but won. Your celebration is premature. I never said I would let you pass. Brother, no! We do not bear arms against our own people. What an odd thing to say. As I recall, the inhabitants of Chirwagur Sultan do not consider themselves members of the Tuli Yolal nation. I'd hardly call them our own people. What does that matter? Members or not, everyone in Tural is part of our dream for peace. If you would hurt them, then you'll have to go through me. She... she saved me... from the mountain bird. Now... then... the same eyes. Eyes of stone. Words of stone. We are still in her debt. This... Is true. Consider the debt repaid. Understand, we do not submit to 
Tully Yolan rule. Aye, you've made your point. We can talk more once the contest is over. I ask your name. Wuklamat, protector of peace and soon to be Dawn servant. Even people with wildly different ideals can find understanding through earnest discussion. I believe that, wholeheartedly. As do I. I won't give up until we reach a compromise. Uh, assuming you survive, my old bones and I will be waiting here for the true heir's return. Your thoughts have always been a mystery to me, brother. But I'm relieved to see you put aside the contest for the sake of the greater good. Our nation is a fortress, and its people the bricks with which it is built. The more that are lost or broken, the weaker Tuli Yolol becomes. Even the crudest rock has value as a stepping stone. Come on, you two! Forget about the right of succession for now, and help me fight this overgrown snake bird! I don't care how strong the Sky Ruin may be, we're going to put this menace down for good! We did it. We slew Valley Armanda. A feat that even the great Gulul Chacha couldn't manage. <laughs> For you, Papa. There's no denying it was an impressive achievement, but I wouldn't be so quick to claim we've outdone Father. The Vidral was weakened by decades of imprisonment. Had we faced it in its prime, we wouldn't have fared a fraction as well. How can you say that? Eighty years couldn't have made that much of a difference, could it? Who am I kidding? Papa's still the best. I did, didn't I? 
Even if it wasn't at full strength, we defeated a living legend. I swear, I'll surpass the old man one day. The Sky Ruin lies dead. And still, I've yet to prove myself the miracle. Well, I suppose we should head back and join Erinville. Aye, we did leave him with only Sarelja for company. the temple then that won't be necessary heroes of the hour Vali Garmanda is no more yours is a victory worthy of song mm. we had plans for a second feat to be conducted here in town but the recklessness of your fellow claimant has rendered them pointless. A second feat? The feat of ice. You are to fortify Valigarmanda's prison. Hmm. How shall we proceed, High Luminary? What more would we test, Zurmurwar? They have defeated the Sky Ruin and saved the gods know how many lives. If they are not worthy heirs to Kulul Jalja, then no one is. claimant has arrived, we can proceed with the formalities. For the skill and bravery the three of you have shown, I award you each a second keystone. Makes five. Only two left to collect. Except that one of those five is in Bakul Jaja's thieving hands. He will answer for that. And for losing Vali Armanda. You have brought lasting tranquility to our home and earned the gratitude of every Yokui. May glory and prosperity continue to bless Tuliolol as we enter this new age. was never much of a talker, our brother. If you're up for it, you should visit the capital. I'd like everyone to get to know you and your people better. Ha! I'll consider it, if it's one of you two who claims the throne. Then you need only await a missive from Sunperch. I'll be sending out invitations. Today is 
is a day for unusual visitors. You... woke Lamat, was it not? I doubted you could slay Valikar Manda, but the quiet skies proclaim your triumph. Had the betrayal been suffered to roam free, it would have terrorized us all. Once again, we find ourselves in your debt. You owe us nothing. We fought because we wanted to. Yet, a debt has been incurred. All the same, it will haunt me if I do not repay it. Hmm. I wouldn't even know what to ask for. Perhaps he can tell us about the dreams of the Golden City. Oh, good idea! That was on my list of questions I wanted to ask. The Golden Dreams. Yes, we have records of our forebears and their visions from the time before the Shakhtural expedition. What did your forebears see? A heavenly land, suffused with a golden glow. Its people lived as gods, never aging, never dying, free from a hardship and conflict. Every building was a palace. And in their midst reigned a silent goddess. A statue so tall, even my kin would need lift their gaze to behold its visage. A statue of a goddess. That's new. I and compared to the abstract imagery we'd previously heard, this was a detailed description. The dreamers were consumed by their visions, compelled to seek out the paradise they'd been shown. They journeyed to Shakhtural, where they died in droves. Those who go in search of the Golden City do not return. The tales Wook Evu shared may have been rooted in historical fact. Perhaps who can know the truth of it? Once our ancestors left the forest, there were no more dreams, nor dreamers. The forest? What do you mean? From the very first, the visions were set to visit only those who worked the quarries in Yaktel. But after they were ravaged by disease and saw fewer newborns, they were forced to abandon that territory. Once our people's withdrawal to Urko Pacha was complete, we never again dreamed of the Golden City. So only Yok Hui in that one specific area experienced the visions. Fascinating. Well, we're headed to Yaktel next. Maybe we'll find out more when we get there.
thank you for sharing your stories with us. I do not require gratitude. 